Okay, um, Mr. Mayor, thank you for your answer about black taxis. And I, I do agree with you that they're world renowned and you know, the best taxi service uh, in the world, and they're a London icon and they need to be looked after. And I do acknowledge you've done some things uh, for the taxi trade. You said there you've, uh, you're going to open up 18 more bus lanes, and that's a very good thing. There's contactless payment, which is a good thing for, for customers and passengers. But there's one thing that you've done which has been quite devastating <clears throat> to the taxi trade, and that is that you've reduced the maximum license age from 15 years to 12 years. Um, and that has caused directly, I would say, a uh, reduction in the fleet number. I mean, when you came into office, there were 21.7 thousand taxi vehicles registered now there are only 19,000. So that's a reduction of 2,700 taxi vehicles in your four years. Before then, the taxi numbers were very, very stable. Um, you need to rethink that policy, I think, Mr. Mayor, because the fleet has been devastated and there just aren't enough vehicles coming off the production line for taxi drivers to purchase. So what are you going to do to help the taxi fleet numbers to be increased again so that taxi drivers can have a job and a taxi to drive? Well, firstly, I, I'm not sure of, of your analysis of cause and effect. So the numbers of uh, black taxis have been going down since 2008. Uh, and so you, you, for reasons that I understand, began your, your question with 2016. But they've been going down since 2008 for a variety yeah, of reasons. Mayor, I, I would say since 2008, they've gone down by 500 since 2016 they've gone down by 2700 so the rate at which they're going down has accelerated tenfold but, since you've become but, mayor but, but you'll be aware because, because i know you like to give a complete picture more and more drivers are now sharing taxis than was previously the case so you now have a situation where you, we have examples of two and three drivers sharing the same vehicle so although there may be fewer vehicles in, in a global well, sense mr mayor once again i would disagree because um, i'm looking at tfl figures which i got off their website this morning since you became mayor the number of registered taxi drivers has gone down from 24,870 to 22,441 today. 2,400 fewer taxi drivers since you have become mayor. But the, the number of taxi drivers hasn't gone down at all since 2008. That reduction has happened entirely on your watch and it was stable over the previous that's eight not, years. That, that's not the case. I've got the figures from 2008. Uh, this has been a trade since 2008, which has been uh, going down. You'll be aware the reason why the change is made from 15 years to 12 years because of the real crisis we've got with the air quality. You'll also be aware that because we've cleaned up our buses, the other biggest factor in relation to the NOx and the particular matter are our black taxes, which is why we've increased the subsidy to the black subsidies, but also made it attractive. It's also not true, as you gave the impression, that the reason for people not, being, not moving to the zero emission cable taxes because of the delay in them being procured. Actually, there isn't uh, ostensibly a waiting list well, for people to get a new Mayor, zero emission I, cable I, taxi. I don't agree with your synopsis. I mean, we, we can argue about figures. I mean, I've got the figures from the TFL um, website this morning. But there is a problem. And taxi drivers' representatives tell me there is a problem. And what you may not be aware of, I hope you are, um, but you may not be, is that although about half of taxi drivers own their own vehicles, and not, approximately nearly half of them are owned by fleets, and taxi drivers rent those vehicles on a day-by-day -day or a week-by-week -week basis. And the fleet operators tell me there just simply aren't enough taxis coming off the taxi production lines to make up for the ones that they've had to decommission because you've reduced the age from 15 to 12 years. So the number of taxis that fleets own is going down, and that's a direct result of your policy. Now, I've spoken about, to you and, and to Commissioner Mike Brown about this many, many times, and I've suggested, as has Assembly Member Prince, that the solution to this is to reinstate the Mercedes veto as an approved taxi, and that will mitigate the circumstances that have been created by your policy. Maybe it's unintended, but you need to recognise that there is a problem now 
and there is a solution, I'm giving you the solution, it will not affect your ULES because the Mercedes Vito is Euro 6 diesel. You've allowed thousands and thousands of private hire vehicles to be registered, still do, which are Euro 6, ULES compliant. That's a solution to the problem. And I think you now need to recognise the taxi trade is suffering and you need to act to mitigate this unintended consequences. And all the taxi drivers that I speak to understand this is what's happening and that's the solution. I'm giving it to you. What do you say? So, so, the, so if, I, if I may oh. uh, just, just <laughs> come in on this. On so the Mercedes Vito, as it applies to um, a taxi, is not at, the Euro 6 has actually got subcategories of definition within it. And unfortunately, the Euro 6 Mercedes Vito does not meet the air quality compliance standards. It just doesn't. So I can give but, you the scientific evidence. I, 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 I can give you the scientific evidence. It's you, you different, still give private hire it's vehicles it's, it's different Euro 6. To the, it's you still license It's them. different to the private hire vehicle. There is a different standard. What I would say as well, the other thing that you didn't point out in your question, if I may, and I'll just maybe support the Mayor in, in his answer here, is that, of course, there now are a choice of two types of vehicles. So as well as the 3,200 zero emission capable taxis that have now been licensed. We, uh, cabbies now have, Black Cab Trade now has a choice of a further vehicle, which is now purely electro, electric, which is the uh, Nissan uh, vehicle, which, the I Nissan have, Dynamo. Uh, which, which Nissan Dynamo, which I've seen and been in and talking to the drivers, they're very positive and keen on that, this regard. I would also assure you that, just so you know, that that in the last four or five years since I've been doing this job, I have, of course, met regularly with representatives of the taxi trade on a continual basis. We've had some very constructive dialogue with many of them, not with all, but with many of them. And, of course, I listen to and understand their concerns in this regard, but I do think that the Mayor's Taxi and Private Hire Action Plan, of which we have achieved many of the outcomes and objectives of, has made significant inroads. And, and of course, black cabs will continue to and, are, and still do play a very important part in... Yeah. Uh, moving well, people around our city. I, I, I don't have much time left, but, but as I said before, I do recognise some of the things in the taxi and private hire action plan have been implemented and they're good, but this is something that is causing serious problems because there just aren't enough taxis around for the fleets to give out. So some taxi drivers don't have a vehicle to drive and the fleet numbers have gone down, as I said, by 2,700. That is a result of your policies and you do need to look at this. I would do something different if I was sitting in that chair. So we'll see what happens. I think the other thing, the other thing I would, the other thing I would. Right, okay. Aww. Well, with his ambitions. <laughs> well, so, so some of us do chair, some of us don't. <laughs> We wish everybody well. You've heard of how impartial the deputy yeah. and I are. 